Hello, folks. Welcome to Cudlow. I'm Larry Cudlow. Save America, kill the bill. Now, it turns out the Inflation Reduction Act has no inflation reduction. That, according to the CBO, in response to an inquiry from Ranking Budget Committee Senator Lindsey Graham. Mr. Graham's going to join us in just a couple of moments. But the Congressional Budget Office reports that the Manchin-Schumer bill has a negligible impact on inflation. So I wonder if it has no impact on inflation, which contradicts its Orwellian title, Inflation Reduction Act. Then why are we doing it at all? America would be far better off not to pass this bill. Just saying, quit raising my taxes and get rid of this bill. By the way, the CBO says the proposed new 15% corporate minimum tax would reduce the incentive for those corporations to invest. That by limiting the tax benefit of accelerated depreciation and reducing the after-tax return on new investment. Well, we've been saying that on a daily basis for the last several weeks right here on this show. And I'm going to go a step further. Some Wall Street estimates suggest this minimum tax hike will cut corporate profits by some $50 billion, which means companies will have many fewer financial resources to increase wages for their workforce. So this crazy idea creates a tax obstacle to new investment and a profits obstacle to higher wages. And we have learned from the Joint Tax Committee staff that the largest percentage increase in tax burdens will fall most heavily on the middle and lower income working folks. That includes a $17 billion tax hike on folks earning less than $200,000 and another $14 billion hitting folks making $200,000 to $500,000. So we now have all these big shot economic models directly contradicting the Manchin-Schumer bill. We have the CBO, we have joint tax, we have Penn Wharton, and we have the Tax Foundation. But we know that this crazy bill would increase federal spending quite a lot which could well turn into higher future inflation. The official print from the Democratic leadership has so many gimmicks in it, but for one, the Obamacare subsidies are going to come to about $250 billion over 10 years if they were scored properly. And Congressman Jason Smith, the ranking Republican on the Budget Committee, estimates that total new spending in the bill will actually come to about $730 billion, which wipes out the so-called phony baloney deficit reduction. Wipes it out. And then the bill gives the IRS another $80 billion to hire 87,000 new agents who will roam the streets chasing Uber drivers, small business owners, waitresses, conservatives, religious groups, and right-to-life committees. I remember Lois Lerner back in 2013. The IRS is going to have more conservative censorship now than even Twitter. It'll become an even beastier beast. It'll become the greatest D.C. swamp rat in history. And according to our new friends at the Joint Tax Committee, up to 90% of the money raised from so-called underreported income will come from those making less than $200,000. And if all that weren't enough, the Manchin-Schumer bill would step up the Biden attack on fossil fuels big time. The EPA will be given much greater authority to regulate greenhouse gases. Now, that's going to give them leverage over time to possibly implement the uh, green power plant. And the EPA will get another $5 billion to implement ESG, right? Environment and Social Governance Reporting. Now, the legislation says these reporting requirements will be voluntary. But if the federal government's going to get $5 billion and it's going to give it to the EPA, you think it's going to remain voluntary, these new reports? Really? I don't think so. And by the way, the bill slaps a 16.4 cent per gallon excise tax hike on domestic crude and imported petroleum, a 33 percent fee hike for onshore and offshore oil and gas drilling on federal lands and waters, a 500 percent hike in oil and gas lease rates, new methane emission fees for drilling on federal lands, and a new methane waste emissions charge on natural gas. Plus, I don't want to leave this one out, a $3 billion grant for something called climate justice. Climate justice. You know what I think climate justice should mean? It should mean an all-of-the-above energy policy. 
that embraces all the principles of free market capitalism, economic freedom, and energy and national security. But at the moment, I seem to be in the minority. So I'll just say again, save America, kill the bill.